Yemen is an important transit country on the migration route from the Horn of Africa to the Arabian Gulf. The majority of those traveling on this route are Ethiopian. They are in search of work opportunities and hope to eventually make it to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. From February to June, COVID-19 related restrictions led to a 90% reduction of migration to Yemen. Border security along the route has also caused at least 14,500 Ethiopian migrants to become stranded in Yemen without access to basic services like healthcare and clean water. Their living conditions are dire. Many are sleeping out in the open, while others are staying in abandoned buildings, putting them at greater risk of exposure to COVID-19. Migrants are not a priority target group for the public healthcare system in Yemen, where only 50% of healthcare facilities are fully functional. Labeled as carrier of the virus, migrants are also facing increasing dangers like verbal and physical harassment, detention and forced movements. This, in addition to the risk already endured by migrants like abuse, exploitation and torture. We are receiving increasing requests for migrants for help to get back home, particularly in Aden. But with the restrictions on travel between Yemen and Ethiopia, this is currently impossible. Ultimately, to save lives, the safe and dignified return of any stranded migrants who request it must be facilitated.